the Sport Broadcasting Camp, this is Sports Center. I'm Michael Dine, along with my partners Jonathan Westcott and Jordan Ehrlich. Chicago Cubs shortstop Stalin Castro and first baseman Brian LaHare will represent the team for the National League squad in the 83rd All-Star Game on Tuesday night. This will be Castro's second consecutive All-Star appearance. He has led the Cubs in hitting for the entire season and has become one of the most exciting defensive players in the league. LaHare is an All-Star for the first time. This season is his first in the majors after spending over 10 years in the minor leagues. White Sox sluggers Paul Canerco and Adam Dunn will join pitcher Chris Sale on the All-Star team roster for the American League. This is the sixth All-Star selection for Canerco and the second for Dunn, who is second in the league with home runs. Hockey news, the Chicago Blackhawks agreed to turn with 31-year-old Sheldon Brookbank on a two-year contract worth $2.5 million. Brookbank had three goals, 11 assists, and was a plus 11 with the Ducks last season and can help solve the Hawks' problem areas by killing penalties. Now on to basketball. The Chicago Bulls drafted Kentucky point guard Marquis Teague with the 29th overall pick in the NBA draft. Last season as a freshman, Teague averaged 10 points and ranked second in the SEC at 4.8 assists per game while helping the Wildcats win the national championship. And finally, Bears running back Matt Forte has recently stated he is unsure if or when he will return to training camp. The All-Pro back has been locked in a contract dispute with the Bears since last season. Forte will earn at least $7.7 million this year, but that is under the franchise tag. It is not the long-term contract he is seeking. That will wrap it up for Sports Center. For my partners, Jonathan Westcott and Jordan Ehrlich, I'm Michael Dian. Good night.